Hello everyone. Welcome to the second new LP of this month. This is a game that I actually didn't demo play before, but I actually bought a, well, new version of it. It's Legend of K. Except it's not. It's Legend of K Anniversary. This is the updated version of Legend of K. If I was actually playing the original one, I'd be playing on a PS2, but this is on Steam, so... If you want to get it right now, you can. It's available. But, I've decided to go ahead and play through the game. And uh, as you can see, I've already set up everything. We've got some subtitles available as well. And, uh, to be honest, even though I have played the demo play, I haven't really played the game before. And by the way, I'm increasing everything to a relatively good spot. Sound effects being the lowest. And by the way, it has graphic options, which... Or set to the highest, so it will be really good. So, it's time to begin the game because even though I have a good idea on how the controls work to do the demo play, I've never played this game before, so I don't know how it's gonna go, but uh, it'll be interesting, that's for sure. So, uh, yeah. It is time to begin Legend of K from the very beginning all the way to the very end. I don't know if this will be 100%, we'll see how things go, but for the most part, I will go through relatively the same way as any of these games we've been doing so far. Which is, I'll go through blindly and see how things go. Otherwise, if lucky, we might get home sense. So for now, we plan it on normal. Let's do this. In the days of wonder, our island of Yanqing was a happy and peaceful place. The four clans lived in harmony, the industrious rabbits, cheerful frogs, disciplined cats, and wise pandas. Each had their own villages, each nourished by the waters of life flowing from their town fountains, enriched and transformed by the songstone within each fountain. It is said that the magical waters of these fountains nourish not only the body, but the spirit as well and all believed in the way, a belief in the essential goodness of life. Pandas and cats, rabbits and frogs all walked in the way. But as the years passed, they faltered. They strayed from the way, fell into complacency and lost their vigilance. At the same time, the springs feeding the fountains dwindled and turned to dust. Evil grew and the gorillas invaded our land. Now they are joined by the rack alchemists and the grating monotony of their din. Their path of darkness spreads everywhere. Only if we regain the way can we hope to find our path back to greatness. My parents say there are few among the free peoples who still follow the way. Please, Kay, come with me. We must rally the people, guide them back to the way. <laughs> That's a load of scat. The gorillas took over because they're... because they're strong and good fighters. All that ancient history... Master says the way is just an old myth. Master says that- Master is an old myth himself, and he drinks too much nettle mead. No way! Forty years ago, he was the finest weapons master in all of Yancheng. Was. I've had enough. I'm going home to my village, if there's anything left of it. Maybe I can find someone there with enough backbone to stand up to Minister Shun and his goons. No one here but has-beens and wannabes. Ready for my next lesson. Good. Never interrupt a man's meditation. Oh, oh. Who put these pots in my way? Let's get you to bed, Master. Oh, oh. Yeah. Tomorrow the sun will rise. The sun will rise on a warrior. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Tomorrow.
uncle. Why all the uproar? The master's hitting the bottle and barely able to stand. Su Ling is prattling on about the way, and meanwhile we've been practically invaded by rats and gorillas. The way? <laughs> Just a bunch of claptrap. If you ask me, the problem is in our very society. You know, in my day... But no, the best lessons come from life itself. Ah, I'm starting to sound like your master. Get out there and look around on your own. But what if... <sighs> yes, uncle. See you later. Kay, before you leave, always remember, if you've got a question, just stop by. I'll help you wherever I can. Whenever you've got a question, just come and see me. And thus we begin the game. So, moving the camera around just a bit to uh, test that out. There's a breakable over there, there's a chest, but I later found out I do not have a weapon. So, uh, yeah, that sucks. So, all I can do is just run around. So, let's just go outside and, uh,. Apparently we get a quest here. Kay, come here at once. Hey, Ubai. What's so earth-shaking? I have a dispatch of highest importance. Come on, what's the big deal? Kay, get a grip. You have to bring this dispatch to the rat camp for me. I have marked the rat camp on your map with a green X. Yes, yes, I will do this for the Grand Imperial Ubai. And there we go. So I thought this was a stop button, but uh, no. I can look at the uh, tips if I wanted to, because there is a tips here. But I need to buy them, so there's no point to it. <laughs> anyway, the other button, which is select, is the quest one, the quest list. Ubai, our great mayor, has instructed you to give a message to the guard at the rat camp. So... Luckily, it's there on the map, a little green X there. We'll be going over there right now, because we can't really do anything right now. I mean, we don't have a weapon. We don't really have any sort of other things to do here. So, really, we might as well just run around and, you know, make sure we can at least, until we get a weapon, just do whatever the game tells me to do. Because until I get a weapon, I can't really go around doing much. So, yeah, that's what the rat has to tell us. Hot! Nobody get in! Chill, dumpster breath. You think I actually want to enter your stinks kill zone? Hey, pussy boy! Watch your mouth! <laughs> Whatever. Here, I got a message for you. Give me now! Ah, your male wise cat. He agrees on everything. Bring this to him as answer. Do I look like your personal mailman, Ratty? Yes! He furry like you! I don't believe this! Sarcasm is wasted on these dipwads. You take mail, yes? Just give me the stupid thing. And there we go! So that's one quest done. Now I have to bring the message to Mayor Ubai. The Rats God Commander has assigned you to bring a message to Mayor Ubai. So, I have to go all the way back. Great. Yeah, as you can see, there's more there, and I bet you I'll die if I touch it. But yeah, we can actually talk to, uh, random people we wanted to. So, I wonder if I wanted to talk to this person right here. Hey, Tan, what are you looking for? Okay, I lost three of my pumpkins. If I can't find them soon, I'll need some help getting them back. I smell incoming side quests. Hopefully there will be, otherwise it'll be kind of boring. Anyway, there is one more thing around here, which I'll be getting near to right now. Save points. This lantern here was conceived and built by our ancestors, and they're basically save points. They refresh our vitality, and they will remember our current state. So when we lose all our lives, we'll be back here. So keep that in mind. But yeah, we're done with the quest now. Let's go see Ubai. Here, Ubai. A message from those garbage swilling rats. Well done, my son. You'll make something of yourself yet. Let me see. Hmm. hmm. Ah, Tack the Chief of Rats is quite wise. He thinks I'm a very competent manager. Great. So you two can start a mutual admiration society. 
By the way, your master sends for you. You should go to the school for training. Awesome! Finally some action! Yes, finally! Except we have a problem, because even though I can see we have to visit the master and such, it says here you have to find the master's house and pass the first lesson in martial arts. I have to find it. It will not appear on the map. And the problem is, I don't know where it is. So, I'm confused at this point. I'm fucking around the map. I can zoom in, I can zoom out, I can get rid of the map and such, but really... I don't know where to go. My first thought was to go back inside the house, maybe because I was starting there because of the way the cutscene played out, that my master is actually inside here. But, uh, no. He is not in the house of Uncle Shen. And then the second thought is maybe Uncle Shen knows where he is. What's up, Uncle? What's up? Your master wants you to come to his house to continue with your training. Can't you be on time at least once in your life? Fuck you, Uncle. Do what I want. But yeah, he doesn't tell me anything either. The actual way he's to go is to this cat over here in the red. And uh, he'll actually tell you how to use ropes. Hello, Kay. See those ropes? Jump up onto them and begin to swing. Find the right moment to jump off the rope. You can also jump from one rope to the next, but that can be a bit more complicated. Oh, please, come on. It's fucking rope swinging. It can't be that complicated. Yeah, it's not that complicated. You just move around. You can swing. You can turn left and right. You can drop. You can jump. By the way, don't drop in the water because I'm definite that water will kill me, so... Don't fucking do it. Anyway, there's a guy over here. Let's talk to him. Hello, Quan Man. Kay, here and up at the fighting school are the only nice places left around here. Not so many rats and gorillas. Let's see how long it stays like that. Our mayor says they want to protect us, but from what? And now they want us to hand over our weapons. Do you believe these clowns? Not a good sign. Someone has to do something. And people say my voice acting in Incarcuba's strip is horrible. But, uh, yeah. Because you said the training school, that means it has to be around here, and what do you know? It is. Let's go see our master and actually get our fucking weapon. Master? Ah, there you are. Come on. Let's continue with our training. But first, I want you to consider one of the lessons of our ancestors. Ah, not another story, Master. Can't we just get straight to fighting? You promised me a new weapon today. Did I? Hmm. Ah, yes. Look over there. It is ready for you. Master, a wooden sword? I'll be the joke of the village. What about the sword in your house? The sword from our ancestors? Get serious. That's a legendary weapon, reserved for the cat champion of the prophecies. Attack me with the triple strike. But bear in mind, that the power strikes take longer, and thus you lose a bit of your agility. Come on, attack me! Yep, simple strikes here, just keep pressing X, in this case a square button, and you will keep striking. Pretty simple. Very good. You learn quickly. You can handle the simple strokes now. Let's try something else. Crouch, and then make an uppercut. Come on, attack me! The uppercut is weird. You have to press and then press the X button. You can't just hold it and press it. Excellent. Now we can continue. Jump and attack to hit opponents on the floor. The attack targets your opponent, even if they are lying prone on the ground. Go on, try it. Even though they fucked up uppercuts, they didn't fuck up jump attacks, so that's something at least. Not bad at all, my little novice. Here's your reward. Yeah. 
This is a heart container. With its help, you get stronger and you can carry more life energy. It's a very precious item. If you find such an item, don't reject it. Yeah, but with your center, your chi, like Hai Hong Hua. <laughs> Very impressive, Master Fossil. Why do you waste your time play fighting when there's Gorilla Masters to be served? Battle scars. Well, I bet you won. Huh. Gorillas always win. It's all clear. Just some mangy cats. 123 central means. 87 quan twos. And 46 and a half cubic twacks. So, that's how it worked. The Cho Wang number series utilized differentially. <laughs> Differentially? Differentially. And made of pure native sandstone, of course. You! Apes there! Get to the quarry and cut me a block of sandstone ten times the size of this fountain! And hurry! This plan's a fool's errand, Alchemist. Oh, now gorillas are experts in transmogrification. <laughs> what next? Bananas with cheese sauce! Ugh, cheese. You rats disgust me. When Wallow erupts, the fires within will swallow... Swallow up the past and reveal the future. A future replete with... Uh, whiskers. <laughs> you mangy little... I uh, feel the vengeance of Yan Ching, invader. <laughs> What? You furball licking! Stop! Bullwax will do the job nicely. <laughs> we don't need buoys turning bums into heroes. <laughs> we have what we came for. Ape. Whoa! You've never shown me those attacks, Master. Uh, then perhaps it's time, my boy. Perhaps it's time. <sighs> Ah, oh, I'm exhausted, kid. Leave me alone for a while, so I can gather new powers through... meditation. You'd best return to the village and attend to your duties. I'll send a message to your uncle when I need you again. And remember the face of that Tack, the Rat Alchemist. He's trouble waiting to happen. And that's it for the training so far. In fact, that's it for this part. Uh, there's not a quest here, so that's something at least. But, uh, yeah, that is it for this part. This is just to get the train out of the way. And, uh, yeah, as you saw, the achievement popped up. That'll be the only thing popping up for me with the Steam Overlay thing. Just the achievements. Just so you can keep track of how things are going for me. Since I will be doing this every recording, every playthrough. But, yeah... Now that we have a weapon, next time I'll be exploring around, just, you know, going to see what I can find, what I can break, and collect anything I can find. Hopefully I still have my weapon, though. I'll be checking pretty soon, but, yeah. Uh, if we get into quests, then we'll go for that, but there we go, we do have a weapon. Alright. So, yeah, next time on Legend of K Anniversary, we'll be going around exploring and doing some more quests. Thank you for watching, I'll see you guys next time.